Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. Today we have a little bit of a different install and content on the channel for you guys. Usually it's the JD7 or the B9S4, but today behind me we have the M5. This is a little bit of a different beast here. A lot bigger, nice and black, and we got some really nice parts going on this thing. A ton of different dine-in products here. We got the uh, cold air intakes as well as the air inlets, is that correct? Yep, two turbo inlets, two intakes, and there's the front piece as well as you can see here. So it's the entire system. Nice. Come over here, buddy. <laughs> What's your name? What's up, guys? Jordan here. Nice. How you liking the car so far, by the Love way? Love it so far. I think it just was really muted. It needed something to kind of liven it up. Yeah. Okay, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So let's uh, let's get right to it. Alrighty, so first things first, we gotta take off these plastic covers in order to remove uh, these braces that hold the actual intakes. Let's see if this tool helps us. Come on, baby. Just all the way to the end, pull it up, and that is it. Simple. We're gonna go ahead and do the rest, and then we'll show you what it looks like underneath. Weather stripping coming out, just so we can pull these guys out. There we go. Nice and easy. And that one's out right there. Okay, it comes right off. And then we have to unscrew this one and this one in order to loosen the intake. As you can see, we gotta take off these guys. C-clamps? Yeah, and then the turbo inlet is right there. Getting right to the, the meat and potatoes pretty soon here, eh? Yeah, the turbo is gonna be right there. It's gonna be looking nice. All right, sweet. So we took off the side uh, engine cover, engine cover as you can see, and then we gotta take off the right side. Just to access the bolt to loosen the intakes to take them out. All right, so let's get rid of that one and then we can start on those on those bolts. Yeah, should Do you know what size up. we need? What kind of socket we need for that? Yeah, uh, I believe uh, the back one is 18 if I'm not mistaken. And the front okay. should be a 16, let's see. Okay, cool. I wanna, there we go. Nice. Right. Diamond sticker, let's see it, where's it at? <laughs> it's going in the window. Honestly, that makes the whole thing. That completes it. That's yeah, that like completes everything. that's the final. <laughs> Paid a thousand dollars for this. <laughs> what is that? He's got a Maybach? That's not a Maybach. No, they did across the street. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought that I thought you said that WRX is a Maybach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It looks on. like a Maybach to me. It's all the same. Yeah. We got an 18 here. Just gonna loosen the intake housing. There we go. That seems quite tight. Yeah, this is actually more tight than I expected. It's usually a good thing, but not when you're working on cars. No, no <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Finally coming out? Yeah, it only is. took forever. Let's go for the 16 now. There we go. Oh, this one. This one came out way easier. Spring chicken over here. Okay, nice. And then this guy just comes up. Now you've got some play. Let's do the other one now. That's, that's definitely loose enough. See if these pull. Yeah, easy. Yeah, just gotta pop it up. There we go. Okay. Pull this guy right here. Let's figure out how this one comes out first. I think we might have to disconnect the hose. Probably grommets, no? Yeah, but there's a hose here that's in the way that has to come off. So there's a hose right here. You can see it's being held by these uh, plastic housing here. And I just yank that out straight, and then now it's loose so we can pull out the whole intake housing. Yeah, it's grommet, so don't be scared to pull it. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it's always easier when it's your own car, you know? There's one. There's one grommet. Should be three. There's two. One more. There we go. That's it. All BMWs, the exact same. Three grommets. <laughs> there we go. No, we, we broke the car. Oh, man. We broke it. It's off warranty, everything. He's got the it's daily downshift warranty. Oh, yeah. right. last until midnight. <laughs> same <laughs> day. Same day only, exactly. Once it's off the line, it's done. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Last screw goes in there, man. Cash for you. Cash there you go, working on your go. own car. You're certified Woo. now. That's it. Oh, dude. Uh -huh. All go. right, now we got two empty um, cavities here. Can someone fit in here? No one did. I definitely could. Good. As you can see here, we just took out the uh, hood latch release. It goes symmetrically to both sides and then it goes up there. Um, so that's just been unpinned here. And then now we have a bunch of T30s to attack. Oh, it's actually pretty tight. That one was a little bit easier. I hear some mice in my car. <laughs> People checking out the new stuff. That is two. All right. 
We have to torque these to spec after, but I don't even think this goes back on. Ooh. Okay. Nice. So yeah, this is interesting. Okay. What Where's is the this? piece we have to cut? It's got to be under here, right? Potentially. I think because we're gonna be have. We're gonna have to make or maybe a slit it's, or here. Maybe it's somewhere. this. Maybe it's this. I think it's this. Yeah, because there's the intake. Okay, we just called on our resident surgeon here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be Doctor Orist for the day. We're gonna go 13. What's the procedure? What's the procedure? <laughs> well, we gotta clean it first and sanitize. That's number one. Okay. That's why I've got my handy gloves on. Nice. First good. and foremost. All right. 13.75 is the distance. We're going a little bit less than that just to make sure. Worst case, we'll make a secondary cut. Mm -hmm. So from the middle to the side, it's 6.875. And that's so that front carbon cap fits in nice and snug. Let's do it. So this, this is the one we're cutting, right? The <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. On the inside of that. All right. Oh God. <laughs> now nah, we're good, we're good. Easy, easy. All right, these are nice shears. Okay, that is it now. It's just how do we get that out after? If you had a Dremel, you could make it nice. Thank goodness it wasn't metal. Yeah. Oof. Oh, no yeah, problem. There you go. Yeah. The sure surgical is. hands running the family. That's it. I knew I should have been a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Got the hands of a demigod. <laughs> <laughs> and the last little guy. This guy's gonna be working on every car now. Gonna, like, Yo, you guys doing an install? I'm ready. He's already here. <laughs> Super he shows sure. it to your house instead? <laughs> yeah, no, it's a little bit tougher plastic, I guess. Yeah. At least it's warm today. If this was cold, this would be a crazy Oh, yeah, cold. you don't want to do this in the winter. Brutal AF. Well, you could change winter tires in the hot, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. how's that? Okay. As you can see, we cleaned up the line nice and beautifully here. And so this should be snug now. Okay. Ooh. Just get a little bit of... Oh yeah, that's what we wanted. Yeah, that's perfect. A snug fit. There we go. Lines up right there. Look at that. A little bit of moving, but yeah, that'll line up nicely. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna do the turbo inlets because it's the whole system. So we gotta pop this guy up here, and then there's another one there. I forget the name of this. Just like that. So we just gotta take out this retaining clip. You put the flat head in here. And then it should just pop up. I think that's it. Is that out? Looks like it. Yep. It's already out. Nice and easy. Um, and there should be one more on the bottom here. Okay, so we just took the ring off with a flathead. You just reach in and pry it. You can even use this, uh, I guess the turbo back here. Might scratch it a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Um, and then, yeah, you just simply, I'm going to hold this flathead here so the ring doesn't actually fall off. And we're going to keep pulling on this housing. Just wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. It's off. The ring is kind of staying there. So I'm just going to hold it and make sure it doesn't actually fall off. I'm holding it. I got it. I you got, got it? it. Let go. Yeah, let go. Let go. Okay. All right. So, as you guys can see, this turbo inlet. Nice. Greased up on the inside. I think we're going to reuse this ring for the new yeah, one. Yeah, that's correct. So, yeah, okay. one side's off. We just got to do the other side now, which should be the same process. Yeah, and there is the turbo right there. Pretty small, actually, eh? Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's not a huge... Uh... Well, it's a twin turbo, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, two of them. So, incredibly quick tip here, guys. The turbo inlet, the side that goes into the turbo. There's an O-ring here or a gasket. Make sure you take this out and transfer it into the new one or else it's going to be a very loose fit. So you put the turbo inlet on for this side and connected everything back up. We're doing it on this side here. Um, it's a little bit of a loose fit, if I'm being honest with you. We transferred over the O-rings already. Now this uh, C-clamp has to go on to make sure it you know, stays in place and doesn't actually move. Definitely make sure you don't drop the, uh, the C-clamp because you know underneath here it's a tight fit. Okay, so we got the C-clamp in. I know you guys can't see it too well, but it's clicked in, just make sure obviously that all three of the kind of like edges of the C-clamp go into the proper holes and it clips in. It still is a little loose, but I think that's just how it kind of goes. It's gonna be held in with the air intakes, obviously the grommets and the screws and that one piece, that metal piece that goes across of it. Uh, yeah, across it. yeah, the, the that's brace. Gonna hold. That's gonna hold it in. So we're just applying now 
putting the vacuum lines back on and just making sure it goes all the way, then clipping it in and then putting this vacuum line on top, just like that, it clips in and yeah, it literally takes three seconds to go back on. Front carbon piece is in, all bolted in. The top part has to come on. This wire is gonna go to the back. Turbo inlets again are in and we've got the rubber. What do you call this? Yes, these are just sleeves. Sleeves. So we put one on either end, of course, and then we, uh, I don't know if you showed them already, but we uh, basically put together the intake part as well. Very nice. We had to reuse the bottoms. Yep. And so it was just a simple, you know, screw off, screw on. Yeah. And so we're going to go ahead and start attaching these and we're basically done after that. Hopefully, yeah. Fast forward a couple hours, it is now dark. We have done a lot of work in the engine bay. Let me show you guys what we're kind of looking like here. But we got the right side on. So the turbo inlet connects with the sleeve. You got the two C clamps. And then there is the dine and intake. Obviously we connected the top to the bottom that came with uh, with the vehicle stock. It is quite finicky. You have to put three different grommets in their place. And then you have to connect this one piece to whatever's the, the, underneath the air, here. The plastic tunnel or whatever. Plastic tunnel for air. Yeah, and that probably comes from like the grill area or somewhere, I don't even know. All the carbon's gonna look really good. We have the front on as well. And then we have one more piece, but uh, we'll get to that once the left side's on as well. How sturdy this is now. Yeah, before before we were saying it was loose, but now with the intake in and everything Completely connected, snug. no movement. Yeah, zero movement at all, and now it feels proper. Alrighty, so we are wrapping up. We got both sides done, as you guys can see. Dining on the left, dining on the right. We got the cover, a couple plastic pieces on top. We're almost done. Oris is just tightening up the final few uh, bolts here. This one is uh, spec to what exactly? 40 foot pounds on the rear. Okay. And 20 on the front. Yeah. So this one right here, this brace, 20 pounds. This back one, 40 That's pounds. It. I thought I'm holding it anymore. That's in. That's bolted. That's bolted. That goes on there. Oh, Click of satisfaction. There it is. Damn, look at that. Now that's a car. That's a V8 twin turbo, huh? There we go. <laughs> Menacing. Oh yeah, there's a difference in here for sure. Keep going. We got a happy customer, right? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. Just downshifts, I guess. so nice. I think you actually hear it kind of like more in the higher gears when it's like down low. Yeah, yeah I've never heard any of these. It never made any oh, sense. That's good. That's good. Yeah, because you don't want too much either. You said you're, you know, more. I don't want too much. Yeah. It definitely gives it a little bit more like character. Mm. All right, guys, but that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick DIY install for the M5. Dine in cold air intakes as well as, well as the uh, turbo inlets. Honestly, a little bit more complicated of a job than we initially thought, but I think now that we've done it once, if we were to do it again, it would be super fast and easy, probably like an hour. So good learning experience. Hopefully you guys um, learned something if you're doing a DIY yourself. And one more time, here's what the car looks like. And with that, guys, we are signing out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.